Hello, hello everyone. Um, it's about the halfway point of my first season and I'm really excited to realize that. Um, over the last couple days I've just been cranking out a whole lot of work on my website um, and my blog and um, some social networking sites to get the buzz going a bit more about my business and I think it's working like I um, was looking at the site statistics last night and I've gotten a lot more traffic it hasn't real resulted in more sales yet but like I said it's only halfway um, and you know that's just one sign that things are going my way so that's always good um, I wanted to share something that um, my law of attraction first of all this is my law of attraction journal I always talk about you know my law of attraction journal my law of attraction journal here it is and one of the things I read uh, I think in one of the Esther Hicks books and I, I think it's in a couple of them where they have the exercises in the back um, I think it's the book of positive aspects Esther wrote that you know you grab a book that you want to write in that feels good to you and you enjoy having it in your hands and all that jazz so this was like my I drew to it when I was in the store and I picked it up and um, it's really cute um, have like hide my name but like you know this vision book belongs to and and then on the other side is like a pocket and you can't see but it says ooh la la and I, I love every I love French things cause I love France so I saw it and I was like oh I have to get it and the pages look like this you can't see the lines but and you know like, like I've done this much work and in the front part I have pictures you know working out stuff um, going growing a green business I thought that was great some places I want to see or you know aspire to all that jazz um, and they're like the wealthy neighborhood here I just like drove around one day and took pictures and of course I can't find them now that I'm talking about them to show you but oh come on I know they're here okay yeah so you can see that here that I kind of did that so um, anyway it, it's just great I love it and it's funny I tend to stop writing in it as I see them getting closer to the end because I just really really like it and maybe I'll wait I'll do one each each challenge or each um, season um, so this was my first one and I think yeah I just came up with that idea as I was talking so I think that's what I'll do but you know to say I'm only halfway well first of all to be fair I started this back in May so you know that definitely wasn't 50 days ago so um, but it's, it's very dear to me and it's really helped to go back and read some of the things that I wrote and um, look at some of the exercises and all that kind of stuff and look at the pictures that I put in here it's like my vision mini vision board so um, I wanted to share something that my law of attraction buddy sent to me in an email and I you know if I get nice notes or emails or whatever I paste them in here but um, I said to her that I felt like I was right on the verge of a breakthrough and I felt that way for a while like okay I'm waiting for things I, I feel the energy building I know something great is coming and it's like that moment of hesitation is just stretching out and I told her you know I'm just tired of waiting I know that my breakthrough is coming when is it coming and she said you know you decide when your breakthrough will break um, and she said so you tell me when is your breakthrough going to break um, I'm trying to see because it's kind of personal stuff so okay but yeah so just the idea of I know something coming and her saying okay you you tell the universe when it's going to happen and things will line up that's kind of powerful and it's not a thought that I had before it's all, it was always okay my thoughts become things I'm going to choose the good ones and I'm going to be an intentional creator of my reality and put those desires you know launch those rockets of desire to the universe but um and kind of just like sitting on my hands waiting 
okay so maybe that's something that'll like elevate or, or accelerate the manifestation and um and maybe you know cause me to focus more you know something but it's a it's a thought that i really like um and my answer was that my breakthrough will come in october you know three days from now I'm not saying the breakthrough will come then but i know something very very good and exciting will happen soon for me and soon being the next couple weeks um on a different note i don't know why it didn't occur to me to now to apply for substitute teaching but i just did two for the suburbs of well first of all I live in D.C. and it's impossible to get through to D.C. public schools. If anyone's in the area, you guys kind of know the turmoil that we've been going through. But um, So I've been applying to um, some of the other counties in Maryland in the suburbs. And the f I applied to one and got absolutely no answer. And the people in HR weren't helpful. So I have no idea why I kind of just, and that was, you know, the first week that I lost my job. And I have no idea why I didn't realize until like yesterday, oh, there are like at least four more counties that I can apply to that aren't that far driving of a commuting distance. So I just literally, before I started doing this video, just did an application for two of them. And the other two, I'm going to um, call on Monday, because today's Saturday, call on Monday and get applications so um, I'm really excited about that I think that's something that will be really really good for me in the fact that it'll allow me to pay my bills um, I have the flexibility of you know accepting and turning down days that I want to sub um, it'll help me interact it'll I'll have the ability to interact with young people and you know one of the missions of my business is really to help girls and women and, it, and you know I think outside of a few volunteer things that I've done, I don't have that much experience being around girls. So to be a sub in high school, that would be great experience for me. Um, and, you know, I had very much had the quandary over my head, like, well, how am I gonna, you know, what's gonna happen in January when I need to study for the bar exam again? So that, that, that'll be something that, you know, I can work a couple of days and study, hopefully save between now and then some money so I'll be able to do that. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. Really, I mean, really excited. I haven't been this excited about something, I don't think, in a while. Um, so hopefully, you know, that'll manifest soon for me. There, The one thing that it's kind of like, mm, you have to get fingerprinted. And fingerprinting, for one of the online applications I did today, was $68. And I'm um, pretty, getting pretty close to the end of my funds. So that's not a good feeling. But to know that you know it'll come from somewhere the universe always provides um and there are two different people that i'm thinking i can ask for the money so we'll see but you know um that's something i'm really like i said really 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 super duper excited about um for the rest of my season i want to just focus on attracting business to attracting sales um you know, I started thinking Grow Rich, put it down, started Master Key System, put it down, started doing the daily, you know, 10, 10 list, visualization list, kind of sporadic with that. Um, and I know that that's one big, huge area of my life I need to work on is discipline. And it, you know, in any area, whether it's money, whether it's studying, whether it's dieting, whether it's working out, I have a problem with discipline. So, um, going back to what I started to say before I went on that tangent I want to go back and read Thinking Grow Rich because you know maybe there's something that'll kind of reinforce my efforts and help me along my challenge I read it a couple times before but I've never sat and read it all the way through I kind of just do bits and pieces of it here and there so um that'll probably be something that I do in the next week along with um you know applying for part-time jobs I think you know maybe I'll sub and do a part-time job at the same time because I want to, I don't know, those who are following my videos on um, the co-creating our reality site. Um, and I've been saying, you know, trip to Paris for my 30th birthday next year. Got to start, you know, getting some money together for that. Um, whether, you know, through my efforts or the universe does something. That's something that I'm keeping in mind. Anyway, this is going long. So 
happy manifesting and see you next time.